dear students welcome to my fifth class on module 5 sampling theory in this lecture video we're going to discuss about chi square distribution and problems on chi square distribution what is chi square distribution the chi square distribution provides a measure of correspondence between theoretical frequency and observed frequency if oi where i is equal to 1 comma 2 comma n is an observed frequency and EI where I is equal to 1 to N is an expected frequency respectively. Then to calculate chi square the formula is given by summation I from 1 to N OI minus EI whole square divided by EI. So here this N minus 1 is the degree of freedom in the case of chi square distribution. And better note that this chi square distribution will be applicable only if the sample size will be less than 10. So this is called chi-square distribution table and to solve the problems we will be make use of this chi-square distribution table always. Example number 1, a die is thrown 264 times and the, and the number appearing on the face follows the following distribution. So x is given like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and f is given by 40, 32, 28, 58, 54, 60 calculate the value of chi-square. So to calculate chi-square first uh, we must have the observed frequency and expected frequency. So I will be taking the observed frequency of the given data only that is OAI will be equal to 40, 32, 28, 58, 54, 60 with respect to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now our job is to calculate the expected frequency. So to calculate this one I am going to divide this 264 with uh, uh, trials with these numbers x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we'll be getting the expected frequency as 264 by 6 it will be equal to 44 each for x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so therefore uh, so at x is equal to 1 we have y i is 40 a i is 44 x is equal to 2 y i is 32 e i is 44 x is equal to 3, oi is 28, ei is 44, x is equal to 4, oi is 58, ei is 44, x is equal to 5, oi is 54, ei is 44, x is equal to 6, oi is 60, ei is 44. So now we will be calculating the chi-square value. So chi-square is given by summation i from 1 to n, oi minus ei whole square divided by ei. So I can take 1 by ei common factor that is 1 by 44 common factor. So simplifying that oi minus ei whole square for each term we will be getting 16 plus 144 plus 256 plus 196 plus 100 plus 256. So hence the value of chi-square will be equal to 22. Example number 2, a 5 dice were thrown 96 times and the number 1, 2 or 3 appearing on the face of the dice follows the frequency distribution as follows. So the, uh, yeah, the first case is the, the number of dice showing the outcomes like 1, 2, 3. So it is 5 dice, 4 dice, 3 dice, 2 dice, 1 die and 0 dice. The frequency with respect to these x values will be 7. 19 35 24 8 3 so now test the hypothesis that the data follows the binomial distribution uh, with respect to chi square is equal to 11.07 for 5 degree of freedom so 5 degree of freedom means n will be equal to 6 here because uh, yeah so now here uh, uh, so first thing is we have to calculate the observed frequency and expected frequency as we know that the given data will be always the observed frequency 7 and 19 35 24 8 3 so now to calculate expected frequency i am going to frame the binomial distribution formula so there is a formula of binomial distribution and calculate the value of the expected frequency so now uh, as we know that so first thing is uh, define the events p and q to frame the binomial distribution formula so i'll be taking p is equal to the chance of getting the numbers 1 2 3 on a single thrown die so like throwing a die one time we will be having the possible outcomes are 6 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Out of the 6 outcomes choosing 1, 2, 3 as the outcome is 3 out of 6. So p will be equal to 1 by 2 we will be getting. So we got p is equal to 3 by 6. So p is equal to 1 by 2. So once we p is 1 by 2 q will be always 1 by 2 because q is equal to 1 minus p. So now take the binomial distribution fit that is capital N into Q plus P whole power N. So it will be equal to 96 into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 whole power 5. So now 
I am going to calculate the expected frequency by replacing x is equal to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So at x is equal to 5, so we will be getting the value like this at x is equal to 4, at x is equal to 3, at x is equal to 2 and so on. So after simplifying this, we got the value like uh, expected frequency like 3, 15, 30, 15, 3 and so on. So now I am going to frame the table one more time. So therefore the absolute frequency is 7, 19, 35, 24, 83 and the expected frequency is 3, 15, 30, 30, 15, 3. So now our job is to calculate the value of chi square and testing the hypothesis. So chi square will be equal to summation i from 1 to n oi minus ei whole square divided by ei we got. So by replacing all the values over here, so we got 16 by 3 plus 16 by 3 plus 25 by 30 plus 36 by 30 plus 49 by 15 plus 0 by 3 is equal to 11.7. So hence we got the, uh, the chi square value 11.7 which is greater than of the 11.7. So hence we can say that the uh, uh, the data is not following the so, so, uh, so hence we can conclude that the, uh, so the, the, the given data what they have given data here it is not following the binomial distribution and the hypothesis is rejected here. Thank you.